Hey guys! I know it's been um, quite a while. I've been very, very busy um, with school, so thank you for your patience. Speaking of being uh, very busy, I got a request from one of my wonderful subscribers, um, Windjammer9284, um, to share my um, tips and tricks and musings and ramblings and whatnot about uh, managing a beauty routine um, while you're in college. Um, the first thing you need to understand about college, guys, um, for those of you who have not yet um, gone to college, if you are going to college, um, those of us who are in college or, or have gone to college can, can tell you, um, you really need to make time for things. And this doesn't just apply to um, the, your personal care routine and beauty routine and whatnot, but you know things in general. Just even you know downtime. You have to um, set aside some time and say, you know, I'm going to do this now because uh, the reality is you're going to be going to class and you are going to be having a lot of school work to do and a lot of studying and a lot of um, obligations outside of your school work with you know your extracurriculars and campus involvement and and whatnot um, it, so time management is a huge a huge thing and you know carving out a certain time sometimes you know I just have to say to myself I'm doing this now and I will, you know, deal with the consequences later, kind of. It's just like that constant um, juggling. One thing that I can suggest that I do is to try to kind of combine things that you have to do. Um, I do this um, with my, my hair conditioning. Um, being a curly girl, I'm very meticulous with deep conditioning my hair. I oil my hair every weekend and sometimes do a deep treatment mask over top of that if I can. And I do that on the weekends, but even that can be a little complicated because I mean I have obligations on the weekend too, uh, which you may if you know you're doing um, athletics or something like that. I'm on my school's equestrian team, so uh, we have horse shows um, over the weekend, one day of the weekend, which means everything else that I have to do gets compacted into the other day that we're not at the horse show. Um, so one thing that that I do is um, you can sleep with say a conditioning treatment on, put your treatment in your hair and then put you know a shower cap over that and then add um, some kind of scarf or even just a stocking cap for extra insulation. This is especially good in, in the winter months. Um, and so while you're sleeping, your hair will be deep conditioning. And if you're wearing that stocking cap, this is especially great because um, the heat coming out of your body, coming up through your head, is going to get trapped by the shower cap and then insulated by the cap that you're wearing over top of that. And that heat makes it a lot easier um, for your hair to absorb whatever you've put on it because it opens the cuticle, the outer covering of the hair. Um, and doing that overnight is a really good way to, you know, not have to deal with that at, at other times. And one thing that I do um, with that when I'm particularly pressed for time, like say I've had a horse show that weekend, I come back the one day and I'm very tired and just trying to get all my stuff unpacked and then go get some sleep. I end up doing this the next day. Um, I will apply, say, my, my oil to my hair and then wrap my hair up like that with a shower cap and then a stocking cap that I just kind of bobby pin in place to keep it from falling off and then I will put a scarf over top of that so it doesn't um, look too terribly weird and I will actually go up to the campus gym like that um, I have, when I've been working out, I have seen um, African American girls up there with their hair um, tied up in scars and whatnot while they're working out um, in order to protect it because it's my understanding that um, their hair can be very fragile. And so I figured, um, you know, if they can work that look, why can't I? And I kind of got that idea um, from them so that I can wear my conditioning treatment up to the gym and then. Just, just like I said earlier with the stocking cap, the body heat that you produce working out um, from the physical exertion is going to get trapped by that stocking cap, kind of insulated, and it's a really good way to help the treatment really sink into your hair. 
Um, similarly, I will combine um, like face treatments sometimes when I have schoolwork to do. Um, now this is something that you only want to do if you're using something really mild on your skin. Um, if you've watched my skincare routine, I am a huge fan of using raw honey as a facial mask and that is very gentle and moisturizing so I can get away with that. But anything like an, an anti-acne mask, like a drying kind of mask like that. I, I wouldn't do um, that this way, but I will put my honey um, on my face after I've washed my face getting ready to go to bed. And then I will go back to my room and do work for a while, uh, especially as the semester goes on and I have more work to do and I end up pulling, you know, you know, more late nights. And I will get done, get work done for, you know, a half an hour or even, you know, an hour or so if I get uh, really involved, which is why I said you don't want to do this with a really harsh um, facial treatment. And so that way um, I'm getting work done and whatever the honey that I have on my face has time to really sink in and my skin can really absorb um, all the goodness from that treatment. And I mean, I have absolutely no qualms about um, walking around my dorm with honey spread all over my face. I just really don't care. Um, I've been in the dorms for a couple of years now, and once you live in the dorms, you see some some weird stuff. You see your neighbors walking by in bathrobes and whatnot, so it doesn't really matter, I mean, because we're all just trying to take care of ourselves. Um, but that is something that I will do as well, so I can um, get a really good nourishing um, skin treatment in and also get some work done. So aside from um, combining tasks um, that you have to do, um, Going natural and cutting as many corners as you can is uh, a big thing that I would suggest. Um, I'm not going to lie, college is a really good time to learn to love yourself without makeup because there are days when it just it is not happening. <laughs> it simply is not happening. And I don't wear, you know, full face makeup or anything like that. I just usually wear, you know, some eye makeup and, that, and that's pretty much it. But, you know, either because I've slept in as late as possible trying to catch some sleep after, you know, using the night hours to work or um, just knowing that I have a lot coming up to do or if I know that I'll be working late again that night and I don't want to have to, you know, be taking off my makeup at two o'clock in the morning when I'm going to bed, just, you know, another obstacle to go through and before I can, you know, finally get in bed. Um, I'll just, I'll skip makeup. I, it's really, and especially um, as the semester goes on, um, your, the rhythms of life kind of change. Um, it gets more intense the second half of the semester. And I always say there's kind of like this gradual decline from the beginning of the semester toward the end. Um, at the beginning of the semester, you know, and you're not too terribly busy, so you have time to wake up and you maybe put on a natural outfit and some makeup and fix up your hair before you go to class. Um, and then, you know, by the middle of the semester, you're wearing comfy clothes. And then by the end of the semester, you're wearing comfy clothes and absolutely no makeup and just throwing your hair up. It, that, that, that's how it works. That's how it happens. Going natural with your makeup, if you wear makeup at all, um, that's that's what I do. I, I haven't put on makeup in, I don't know, three weeks. This is the first time I think that I've put on makeup in like three weeks aside from a little presentation that I had to do. Um, similarly with your hair, um, working with what you've got is, you know, the best route I can suggest. Don't waste all that time styling your hair. Um, we curly girls might have a little bit of an advantage in this because, uh, it, I mean, it takes, it's time consuming for us to wash and style our hair, but then we can usually get a good sometimes three or four days wear out of um, one washing or even longer depending on what your texture is. Um, so we maybe have a bit of an advantage in that, but even if you are not a curly girl, um, trying to work with your texture as much as you can. Just like heatless styling, like putting a little spray gel in your hair, putting it up in a bun or putting it in braids overnight just to get, you know, a little, a little wave or a little texture in it without, you know, straightening or, or anything like that. Um, just work with what you've got and kind of going for the natural look. It's just the most practical option. It's easy. You can more or less roll out of bed in the morning and go to class. So as I mentioned earlier, um, the the rhythms of life are going to change throughout the semester depending on, on, uh, on what, what point you're at, especially the second half of the semester because you have your midterm exams around halfway through and then you know all the final projects and final papers start coming out and things get pretty hectic. So um, being flexible 
is it's very important um, not being afraid to cut corners where you need to as I said earlier you know going from you know more made up to less made up honestly don't don't be afraid of that just learning to adjust with what um, the semester throws at you is uh, it's important. And as the semester gets more stressful, um, I think taking good care of yourself is especially important because you know what you put in um, shows on the outside. Um, so trying to get sleep where you can, I mean I've repeated this I think a couple times now in this video. And drinking a lot of water is really important. It's just good for your body. It's really good for your skin. It really helps with my skin um, no matter where you are in the semester. Um, Coffee does not really count unless it's just plain coffee and, and putting cream and sugar in it or getting something from Starbucks does not count. Um, but tea or something like that, um, nothing nothing sugary, but trying to stay hydrated. Um, and try, I'm, I'm saying this laughingly kind of, but trying to keep your stress levels down as much as you can, which may not be very much, I'm not going to lie, but you know, sometimes you just need to take a little break like a mental health day over the weekend I'm not suggesting that you cut class and then this kind of comes back to time management um, my daily routine is pretty easy um, I don't wash my face in the morning my face does not need to be washed in the morning um, I think I kind of touched on this on in my my skincare routine if it's in the warmer months like when the semester first starts and then maybe when it ends I just splash a little water on my face because then my face will get a little bit shiny but in the winter months um, my skin just soaks up the moisturizer that I use which is coconut oil it leaves my skin looking really good so I don't need to do anything to my face in the morning um, most days I skip putting on makeup um, um, as, as the semester goes on as I said I haven't worn makeup in like three weeks aside from today and like one other day um, and usually um, with my hair routine when I wash my hair I have it tied up in a t-shirt overnight with all my styling products in so I can just untie that and it'll start to air dry um, like while I'm, I'm going to class um, or I will have it um, tied up in a top knot in a cap and often um, my hair stays in a top knot no matter how good uh, a hair day it is even if I have you know really good second day hair it stays in a top knot just because it's it's up it's out of the way and I don't really need to fuss with it um, in the morning um, that's kind of the the later semester but you can see kind of where you know I cut corners and I try to um, take it easy and be as natural and just as practical as I can and that's really what it comes down to. Um, I think that's really really all I have to share. Um, so just my, my big tips, um, you need to know how to manage your time and make time for the things that you want to do even if it's not you know beauty related. Um, trying to combine tasks where you can if you are brave enough and you want to wear your conditioning get up to the gym like I do, go for it. Um, that's why I tied the scarf over it. Um, trying to just go natural and work with what you have and as I said this is a really good time to learn to um, embrace yourself what you have um, and being flexible and just trying to look after yourself when you can because I'm, I'm not going to lie college gets very very stressful. I'm home on Thanksgiving break right now and it's absolutely divine. Um, but that's, that's the advice I have and that's kind of um, what I do, how I uh, manage taking care of myself while I am away at college. Um, you know, as always, please ask questions if you have any questions, if, there, if there's anything you'd like to see. Um, I don't know if you can private message me anymore with this whole new YouTube layout that I'm still figuring out, but you are more than welcome to post a comment or come over to my Facebook page, um, Beauty and the Geek Official. Just look that up and I should come up and like that because you can contact me that way, ask me questions, and I pass along articles and post new videos when they're done um, and I think that's really everything um, a big hello and welcome to my new subscribers thank you for your support I wish you all a very happy Thanksgiving and I will see you on my next video bye guys